We're going to install a Chevy Cup Junior with a passenger drink holder on an Ultra Classic and it's going to go on the bag rail application. We're going to use this application right here which is actually the same one that we use on a engine guard application. Clamp as we package them comes with a inch and a quarter to seven eight sleeve and that's the sleeve we're going to use. If you need to get a one inch sleeve it's wrapped up in small tissue paper here and you would use that for handlebar application. Right now we're just putting it in the box here out of the way. We're going to install the clamp. Got to make sure you don't come up too high because you don't want to touch the edge of the lid on the uh, on the saddlebag. That's seven eighths size right there. It goes on. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind is because once you turn this clamp, it's not very easy to get to the inside. So we'll turn it like, like so. And this one we want to tighten all the way, and the one on the inside you don't want to tighten all the way because once you tighten this one up, you won't be able to get to it when we turn it, but the other one we can get to from the inside. So we're going to put on the elbow. Elbow, we'll put the jam nut. Sometimes you have to get it started a little bit. When we chrome plate these, we try to keep as much chrome out of the threads as possible, but sometimes a little extra chrome gets in the threads. So you might need a small wrench to get it started. Put the spacer on there, and all that goes inside the the clamp. Yeah, it is. At this point, we're just going to snug this up. Snug up the jam nut, and we're going to install the cup. Take the side liners out. And the bottom liner. Put the bolt onto the end of the Allen wrench. Put on one of the stainless washers. Use the center option. Put the second washer on. And we go right in tight, right into the end of the elbow. And this is the side mount option here. For this application, we turn to the inside so it doesn't show from the outside. So what we're going to do next is get the rider passenger on the bike. Okay. You want to keep make sure that the cup has plenty of clearance so when you open your lid, it doesn't touch the cup. We use the Allen wrench to go in here and tighten this last few turns on the the clamp from the inside. Okay. I should have it nice and nice and tight. We'll put the liners back in. Put the bottom we'll liner. Put this in. liner in. That's a 20 ounce liner. 
Okay, yeah, nice and snug in there, then put the 16 ounce winder inside. Uh -huh. They said it was a couple of minutes. There you go.